Good day. I want to talk with you today about leading at home with the idea of serving your family, the word of God in prayer, being a servant of Jesus that serves your family. And I want to talk specifically about discipline. I know we've looked before at God's discipline of believers in Hebrews 12, but I want to show how God's discipline of believers really should be mirrored in a parent's discipline of their children within a Christian household. How does God discipline believers? Look with me at Hebrews chapter 12. And it says very clearly that the Lord, this is Hebrews 12, 6, the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. This is an ongoing thing. And it it goes on to talk about uh, sharing God's holiness and discipline seeming painful for the moment, not pleasant, but it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness. And it says in verse 12, Lift up your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees and make straight paths for your feet. This is the idea like from Psalm 119, which says, uh, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It's a, it, it lights the path for us. So you make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame may not be put out of joint, but rather be healed. And the idea is there's this process that God takes us through by his spirit through his word. And therein lies uh, the crux of the matter. If you want to discipline your kids appropriately, you will do so by God's Spirit through God's Word, okay? God disciplines His children today by His Spirit through His Word on an ongoing basis as the Word of God really gives those guardrails and gives us straight paths for our feet and then uh, is uh, profitable for teaching, correction, reproof, training in righteousness. And the idea is that you discipline your children uh, trusting the Holy Spirit and applying the Word of God. And so it's bringing the Bible to bear upon the issues of life that you present themselves on a daily basis in your household. And so what that takes on a parent's uh, uh, you know, point of view is a, a, you know your Bible and you're able to you know, kind of pivot, turn on a dime uh, to address the issue at hand. Maybe it's an anger issue. Maybe it's a, um, a lack of, of discipline, self-discipline. Maybe it's a lack of self-control. Maybe it's a distance issue where people aren't communicating well. Whatever it is, you want to bring the Word of God to bear on the situation at hand. And so I hope that helps you a bit that God disciplines us by His Spirit through His Word. And as you lead at home, as you serve up the Word of God in prayer to your family, you would do so trusting the Spirit of God and giving and applying his word. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you that we have your spirit indwelling us as believers and that we have your word. And thank you, Lord, that you use your word in our lives for your glory. And may we uh, use the sword of the spirit, your word, uh, in our lives, in our families, uh, to help uh, grow uh, faithful followers of Christ. Lord, you save and sanctify as you as you will, as you see fit, and use us now as your instruments, Lord. The work is not ours. We are just uh, cooperating with your work. We are just wanting to align with you and surrender to you, yield to you. And we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.